Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Flow and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Dragon's Dogma 2 is having crashing issue it is won't launch, not launching, freezing, stuttering, lagging, <coughs> low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this out. So we are going to talk about some of the possible workaround, we can try this out and let's move to the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple one that is all about should not be neglecting this that is all about we have to do a simple restart for this we just need to go over here in the start icon go to the power icon over here and go for the restart so once restart is done just try launch the game and that will be working so if not the case we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder so we might be launching the game from the Steam. So that is why we might be having these kind of issue. So we need to launch the game from the Steam itself. Not from the Steam, but from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go over here in the installed files and just click on the browse. So that will take you over here and go to this PC, Locklist C, Program File X86, Steam, Steam Amps, Common, Dragons Dogma 2. Is what it is now from here we have to launch the game so this is what we have to do as the first step if that is not the case we have to move to the uh, I'll, I'll be showing you apart from this shortcut there is also one more method we can navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer just go to this PC go to the local C go to the program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam amps go to the common now from here we have to navigate to Dragon's Dogma 2. Now we just need to launch the game from here. So we have a shortcut from the Steam as well as we have a method where we can navigate to the installation full, uh, using the file explorer. You can be doing any one of the thing that is fine. Just launch the game from the installation folder. Next one is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. So right click on the application, go over here in the show more options and go to the properties, compatibility. Click on run this program as administrator, go for apply and go for ok. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one. That is we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to show more options, go to the properties, go for compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode. Go over here in windows 7, go for apply or you can go for windows 8 and go for apply. So either you can go for windows 7 or you can go for windows 8. Any one of the thing is working fine and that can be done. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we have to make sure the windows date, time and region is correct. So just go over here in the search, navigate to the settings, go over here in the time and language, go for date and time, make sure all these three things are turned on, go back and also make sure your the geography is correct. That means you have selected the country according to your geography. And once everything is selected correctly, you just need to close everything and we have to go back, try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, the next one, just hit on the play button and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is going to help you guys out, but I found this from the Reddit, but this even helped a few users. So you can try this out. Let's not take any chances. So just press Alt and Tab and hit on the play button and that's going to work for you guys as well. Next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. We have to navigate to documents over here. And like I said, you will be a, having a folder for the game. So like you'll be having a folder when you started playing the game and saving the steps one by one. So just delete the respective folder of the game. Once afterwards, you have to go back and start from the scratch means you have to do it once again. But even though deleting the saved game file did work at many users in my knowledge. So you can try this out. Next one is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search, go for control panel, go for system and security, go for Windows Defender firewall, go for allow app or feature through Windows Defender firewall, keep scrolling down and navigate to D. Hence it is an alphabet, we have to navigate to D that is Dragon's Dogma 2. Make sure both the private and public both has to be marked. So once it's been marked, you just need to launch the game. Imagine the game is not here, you can add it by default, just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, navigate to the browse, now go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for steam over here, navigate to steam apps, go to common, 
Now navigate to the game Dragon's Dogma 2. Select this one and go for open and we have to add it. So I'll be getting the error because it's already added. So this is how you can add it. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of peripherals. External devices might be connected. For example, you know, uh, what do you have to say? Ex uh, controllers might be connected and all these things can cause the issue up. So just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, try launch the game. Once you're in the game, you can just connect it back and try continue playing the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. Go for system configuration, search for system configuration, open this one, navigate to the folder services, go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for ok. Now go for restart but I am going to go for exit without restart because we are in the middle of shoring so just go for restart and afterwards try. Still the error is there, we can try the next one that is we have to disable the steam overlay. So just go over here in the game on the left, right click and navigate to the properties. Make sure this is turn it off. If it is turn it on, we have to turn this off, try launch the game. If that is not the case, we have to give commands in the launch option. That is all about we have to start with DX11 is the first command you can give. If DX11 is not working, you give the DX11 in the command and try launch the game. If DX11 is not working, go to the properties, go for DX12. You can try with DX12 and you can try launch the game. So either the DX11 will be working or DX12 will be working. Any one of the things will be working and this is what we have to do. Next one is all about we have to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the task manager. Right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background. And all these things are actually utilizing the RAM and whenever you are launching the game like Dragon's Dogma 2 which is around 17 GB you will be having the crashing issue at the same time. So what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things from here. For example, I have to say Discord is an overlay application, overclocking applications, for example, Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, and all heavy applications can be removed from here, then launch the game. So this even helped with many users from the crashing issue and even including such as won't launch or not launching issue, this helped so you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but we have to try the next one. That is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this we just need to go over here in the search, search for graphics settings, search for the graphics settings. Now just go over here in this one and we have to add the game. Here I have already added many games in the same way we need to add the game. Just click on the browse, go to this PC, go to local DC, go to program file x86, go for steam, navigate to steam amps, go to common. Now from here we have to navigate to uh, dragons dogma should be added so open this one go for dd2 now go for add so right now it is added just click on the option now flips let windows decide change this to high performance nvidia geoforce rtx should be changed to high performance and go for save once you save this just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search we have to go for uh, view advanced system setting just search for this one now go to the advanced tab go for settings go for advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and select the local disc c go for the custom size and we have to give the value for initial size and maximum size so just go over here search for calculator so if you don't have calculator just search for the calculator like this okay now we need to type the RAM of computer. So the RAM of my computer is if you don't know how to check the RAM just go over here in the settings. Now from here we have to go to uh, you just need to go over here in the windows update not in the windows update just go over here. Just go over here at the top on the system now go over here in the about so you'll be able to find the ram so uh, the ram of my computer the installed ram is 32 gb okay this is how we can find the ram based on this we have to do the calculation just close this now type my ram first so 32 gb is my ram now i have to multiply with a constant value 1024 that brings you 32768 multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 
copy this value and we have to paste it that is initial size now the maximum size 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it once you set this up just close everything and close everything over here and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the windows so just go over here in the search we have to go to the settings now go to windows update just update the windows which is very important so updating the windows is quite important once after updating the windows try launch the game <coughs> next one is all about we have to run the game on uh, we have to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd the nvidia users has to go to this page select everything like your product types should be selected product series should be selected product should be selected operating system should be selected language should be selected so mine is geoforce and i have to select geoforce rtx and it is on windows 11 so go for start search when you go for start search what happens is the latest released versions will be available over here like this from this 551.86 the version which is on 19th of march 2024 is the latest version download this one install a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on the AMD, just go over here in the graphics, select every details and go for submit. And if you're on Windows 11, you can download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can download this one. Next one is all about, we have to install Microsoft Visual C++. And over here, as you can see, uh, there are two options. If the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one. That can also be non-frame here. Just go over here in the search. Now we have to go to the system go over here in the bottom about and from here you can see the system type is 64 bit operating system so if you don't know how to check it this is what you have to do once afterwards just go back so i have to download this one if the system is based on x86 you have to download this one once afterwards try download this one install restart as a mandatory and try even after trying with this if the issue is still there you can try downloading the direct x download the direct x and install it and you can try launch the game if that is not working still if it's not working we have last two steps can be done one we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back so just go over here in the game right click and go to manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you should not be installing it back on the same local disk you have to try a new local disk installing it back on the same local disk is not going to work so try installing it on local disk d or e if you're having any multiple local disk the last step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file so if any files of the game is corrupted, you will be having all these kind of issues that is crashing, not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loaded screen, all issues will be there. So just do is we just need to uh, make sure it is not uh, corrupted. So right click over here and go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time. This will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any file missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So we just need to wait this to reach 100%.
So once every files are successfully validated, just close everything and try launch the game. These possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Bye.